Well, hello again. Wanted to make a quick video today showing the different methods you can use to prepare concrete substrates and surfaces for a restoration. This video is specifically intended to show you how to prepare surfaces uh, for a TF structural concrete repair, um, but it's quite universal repair methodology. So when you're coming to jobs like you're seeing in these pictures, it just gives you a really good idea of what do you do, where do you start to start getting this ready for a proper restoration that's going to last. Um, you come across all sorts of damage deteriorated to concrete of varying degrees, uh, all of which there's methods to prepare and get them ready for proper restorations. The simplest, quickest, easiest, cheapest way is pressure washing. Uh, you can see here a nice systematic approach. The, the pressure washer is an even distance away from the concrete and you're going back and forth in a nice system versus something like this where you're just waving it around trying to wash it down. You really want to uh, be thorough with your pressure washing and in a nice system to make sure you properly prepare and get all the different, uh, all the areas of the concrete prepared. Pressure washing is really good when the concrete has no oil, grease, contaminants, or really heavily loose or deteriorated concrete. Um, it's a really good prep method. It's easy, like I say, quick, user-friendly. Uh, then the next step up from there is grinding. Grinding is really uh, intended for smoother concrete surfaces that aren't heavily pitted or damaged or roughed up. It's great for removing very thin layers of old overlays or coatings. Um, just kind of very surface level, loose, deteriorated concrete. You don't want to start using grinders if the damage is, you know, an eighth of an inch or a quarter inch or deeper. That's where you want to start moving into machines like this. This machine is called a scarifier. You can see on the concrete profile where you have that more heavily spalled surface. You can see fractured and loose pieces of concrete on top of the aggregates. It's, it's too aggressive where a pressure washer is not going to blow that off and a grinder is just going to grind right on top of it without actually removing that loose damaged concrete which is very important you don't want to put a restoration overlay on top of loose deteriorated concrete you got to make sure all that concrete is sound clean porous and structurally uh, intact these scarifier machines are great for that uh, eighth of an inch to quarter inch surface level damage they're great for removing old overlays or old coatings that's what's happening here Grinders are just going to skim on top of that and they're not going to actually remove it without a ton of work and, and burning through a lot of your diamond blades. Whereas you see these scarifying machines, they, they really hammer on the surface and they're going to break off uh, in chunks these old loose deteriorated uh, surfaces. So they're better for more heavy abrasion and removal. And then a step up from there, um, you're going to get into a machine here called a shop blaster. These are by far my most favorite uh, machines for prepping concrete you can see they're going to get into cracks they're going to get into grooves if it's heavily pitted spalled um, or deteriorated these machines actually shoot metal steel metal balls directly down onto the concrete surface and they bounce back and get recollected into the machine they're just amazing as you see going over this huge crack here this really heavily pitted pad you're you're getting everything if there's loose deteriorated concrete pieces it's going to shatter and break that right off um, just a really amazing machine. This is going to do what pressure washers can do times about a hundred. Um, you don't want to use pressure washers when there's really loose, uh, concrete that has to be chipped off. And then of course, a step up from there, when, when the concrete is really bad, it's loose, it's, it's more or less rotten. It's, it's really structurally lost its integrity. That's where you're going to get, start getting into jackhammering. And the, these tools are going to remove really big, large pieces of concrete, um, as you're going to see in the following little video examples. Um, but this is for really heavily damaged, weak concrete, so you can get yourself down to a nice, solid base uh, and make sure that it's it's ready to prepare, re receive a restoration. You're seeing it here, right? As the jackhammer starts hitting the piece, you can see it all vibrating, so you know right away that whole piece is loose and ready to come off. If you're trying to grind or pressure wash over that, that piece is going to stay there. But uh, in reality, it's no longer bonded. It's no longer structurally intact. And it needs to be completely removed to ensure the success of your restoration. I mean, 90% or more of the success of your restoration projects are going to come down to how well you prep the surface. 
and jackhammers are also great for cracks. Um, if you have small, thin hairline cracks, you can use like a diamond tool, uh, a V-groove type thing to route them out, get them a little bigger so you can start putting your mesh down and, and get them ready. But most cracks are going to come with some deterioration, especially more in the winter climates. Um, so that's good to run your jackhammer along the length of those cracks and really hammer away at them and take away more uh, concrete often than's needed here we're getting right down to the rebar and it's good to hammer all around that bar so when you're putting the restoration material the tf structural in there it's going to encapsulate fully that bar and and reattach itself properly to the slab and of course you can do combinations of different restorations here we use the jackhammer to clean out all these cracks they got quite wide uh, but now that's nice sound solid clean concrete and after our jackhammering was done we went over this entire surface with a pressure washer because the rest of the concrete was more than uh, able to be prepped just using a pressure washer. Here's another system or uh, surface where we combine some prep methods. We used the jackhammer to uh, remove some of this heavy damage, uh, get right down to the base there, and, and then we could pour some structural down in to help uh, put that, that substrate back intact. And then we used the grinder for the rest uh, of the driveway and here are just some some images of these finished products this is what you're able to do once you properly prep uh, the concrete you can put in the tf structural restoration methodologies which we have lots of videos showing you different uh, ways to do stairs forming rebuilding overlays skim coats a uh, whole number of options so you do not have to rip out and replace every damaged concrete structure you find uh, most of them are going to be eligible for for a restoration that will last for years to come